What you're looking at here is our next assignment, exploring value, which is one of our elements of art. Value is the lightness and darkness of the image that you're looking at. So to start, you're going to draw out some organic shapes onto your paper. Notice how I'm not holding my pencil straight up and down. I'm holding it at an angle very close to the paper to get a softer line. That way, if I do need to erase a line, it's not as difficult as if you have a dark, hard line on the paper. I'm trying to fill the space up with these organic shapes as much as possible, but don't touch between the different shapes because you want to have those little lines in between your shapes. Now the first layer, you might have noticed in the picture that we're doing, it's going to be several different layers, one on top of the other, um, with different values. So our first layer here, I'm doing very lightly with, again, with the side of the pencil lead, not straight up and down to get, and, and very little pressure to get as light of a mark as I can. I want to fill in that space as much as possible, making a nice, even light shade or value. Now the areas that you can see there in between my shapes needs to stay as white as possible. As we're going on you'll notice a few times that I use an eraser just to make sure that I keep the, those whites as white as possible. start on our next value. When you're using pencil as a medium, it's easier to go from light to dark because it's easy, always easier to make something darker, but it's more difficult to make it lighter. Now you can see that I'm going back and I'm drawing in some more organic shapes within those first organic shapes, but I'm not crossing over the white left by the original organic shapes. These are going underneath. That's why they're a little bit darker. They're a little bit farther back in the distance. And then I'm shading in just a little bit more pressure to color in the areas on our second layer here. Now my finished project, I believe I had about five different layers building up. So you don't want to go too dark too fast. You need to make sure that you're not putting too hard a pressure down so that it's going to be too dark. Skip forward a little bit. Um, so just about finishing up that second layer there. Notice how that value pretty much stayed about the same shade um, all throughout that particular layer. Now I'm going to go back and draw in some more organic shapes. Again, not crossing over the lines I already have there. It needs to go behind those lines. So when you get to a line that's already there, you need to lift your pencil and connect a line after that particular line. Okay, once I've got the organic shapes drawn in, again, applying a little bit more pressure. See how it's getting pretty dark now? But it's not all, it's not as hard as I can, can get it because I still have one more layer after this layer. And 
Another thing you need to keep in mind as you're working on this project is the more pencil, the, the darker you go with your pencil, the more likely it is that you're going to smear it with your hand. So if you like, if you tend to rest your hand on your paper while you're drawing, do like I did there, get a paper towel and place it over your drawing so that you're not smudging your, um, your pencil lead and creating values that you don't intend. All right, now I'm drawing the lines of the organic shapes for the very last shade that I'm gonna do here on this paper. There's one more shade darker. Now with these number two pencils that we have, also the darker you go when you get to the very darkest, you'll notice that it's going to make the paper shiny too when you get dark. You can see the shine of the pencil lead when you get to the darkest layers. Skipping forward so you don't have to watch coloring in the entire thing. Almost finished here. Now once I'm finished shading in all the values, I went back with an eraser again on the white areas to make sure that they were as white as they possibly could be. Now what I'm doing is going around um, anywhere that you have a line behind another line. You can kind of make those lines a little bit more crisp by shading right where the lines overlap. If you need help with that, you can ask me and I'll, I'll kind of guide you through how to do that. See how all the lines are nice and crisp and clean? And I'm signing my work, and there you go.